In today's tech tip, we will discover how to use the default feature strategies for SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS. So in most cases, when you open up a part inside of SOLIDWORKS CAM or CAMWORKS, you will be defaulted to use all of the metal cutting strategies. If I choose Extract Machinable Features on this part, it's going to go through and it's going to find my features. So I have a slot and a whole group on this particular part. You'll see beside the slot feature, we have a rough, rough rust finish strategy. What this means is it's going to give us three different tool paths. Two roughing tool paths, the second one being a rest machining tool path, so it's going to go in and clean up what the first one couldn't cut. And the third tool path is going to be a contour tool path, so a finishing tool path. If I'm cutting wood, I'm not going to need this many tool paths, and a lot of the settings inside these tool paths are going to be changed. Before I change the strategies, there's one way that I can easily fix this, and that's with default feature strategies. If I choose the default feature strategies from the command manager, you'll see that under mill, I have the ability to edit and view strategy schemes for either the current document and machine, or from the technology database. You'll also see a list of different schemes that are available to use. So within this list, you have features and a default strategy set for each feature. So if it finds holes, it's going to apply the drilling strategy. The drilling strategy gives me a center drill and a drilling tool path. So with this part, I only want a drilling tool path. I don't need the center drill. So I can change this to drill only. When I hit apply, you'll see I now have drill only for my whole group. Same with the irregular slot. So if I look at irregular wrapped slot here, maybe I just want a roughing tool path. So I can do my roughing and finishing all in one tool path. Hit apply, and again, it changes that for me. So this is one quick and easy way to change whatever setup in your document. Another way to, would be to actually create a scheme. So I actually have a router scheme that I've created, and it goes through and it actually resets all of my strategies to what I've created in here. So I'll show you how you can create these schemes. If I go into my technology database, I'm going to choose the milling machine, and then you'll see that there's an option in here called default feature strategies. So if I'm looking at the default feature strategies list, this looks very similar to what we used from this button up here. On the left hand side here, these are all of the strategies that I can come up with. So this is where my router metric was created. This could also be set as the default strategy if I set this up inside my machine settings. I can show you that afterwards as well. So I've got multiple different options in here. I could also just delete the first two and then I would just be left with the router strategies. So if I want to create a new one, I can go ahead and copy the existing. So I could copy the default. And then I can name that, give it a description, and then again, go ahead and change all of these. Once that's finished, I would save that as whatever I've created. And then I've got a new strategy. So I'll delete that one because I don't need it. You'll also see our default list is used for the following machines. So it also shows which machines this default list is set for. So if I go back into the mill tab, and I choose the machine that I'm working with, you'll see there's a list here of default feature strategies. So again, if I am programming a router and I want that router metric to be my default feature strategies list, I can choose that, save it, and then I'm going to use that as my new set of strategies.